One hundred years of camping, one hundred years of smiles, one hundred years of memories that span across the miles. So come to Council Circle with the ones that you hold dear. Let's keep this camping going for another hundred years. Why do I love Rage? I love Rage because it takes these little shot. I love. I love seeing it. Take these little shy kids, you know, they come here and they're just like walking around, not talking to anyone. And then out of nowhere, the next day, talking to everyone, have new friends, they're screaming and yelling and singing and having so much fun. And I, that's just awesome. It takes people out of their comfort zone and makes them do stuff. And then they just love it and they never quit. And it takes takes it outside of 4-H camp, takes it outside of 4-H, it changes who you are and makes you a better person. I love 4-H because of all the opportunities. It gives everyone, especially me, I'm able to travel the state and do work summer camps, which is, I think, anyone's dream job to goof off and have fun for mm -hmm. a summer. Um, it gives you leadership opportunities, it gives you the opportunities to make new friends, traveling um, I just it's got so many opportunities that you can take so I love it at 4-H camp uh, it's a lot of fun we make a lot of friends I've made so many friends through 4-H it just helps me become a better person I think my experiences at 4-H camp are very uplifting and very exciting because you always come back and you see the kids you saw the year before and, and new kids like first year campers and you just have you just have a great time and it's just memorable there's a lot of things that i've learned through 4-h like i spent a whole week learning how to balance stuff and make smart decisions what jobs do oh, make a lot of money and stuff and i I mean, I've grown from that. I've also learned how to like interact with everyone, and you know, how to be a leader, and how to be, you know, how to be a leader, not a boss. Because you don't want to be telling people to do it. You want to be doing it with them. And, stuff. and about that, I mean, learned how to make a lot of cool food. Cooking classes made a lot of cool food. That's true. That is very true. I mean, done a lot of cool things in science. I know a lot more about the periodic table and stuff. <laughs> because we've mostly blown stuff up, but it, it works, I mean, yeah. The skills that I've learned through 4-H, definitely leadership skills. I can walk into a room and I know how to get their attention. I know how to make it fun and inviting versus, you know, typical business meeting where you're just blah, blah, blah. So I think that's really important is those leadership skills that you've learned and d developed. Um, I think I've learned the importance of volunteering. Um, n I don't think a lot of youth or uh, even young adults, old adults, understand the importance of volunteering. And I think 4-H really instills those that value service into you. So I think that's one major, major skill that I've learned is volunteer and don't hold back. <laughs> I would definitely be in 4-H if I could go back in time, just because I have so many, so many of my memories have been formed around 4-H and with the friends I've had in 4-H, and all it's just helped me so much in life that uh, I think a part of me would be incomplete if I didn't have 4-H. I wouldn't be the same person I am today. 4-H, if I went back in time and could change something, I wouldn't change a single thing. The one thing I may have changed is first year camper not be as shy or be more accepting to like learn and be involved in more things, but I wouldn't change anything else. If I met a stranger and I had to tell them about and they wanted to join 4-H and I had to tell them about it, I would tell them to do it. There is nothing, there is nothing that you can't learn or become better at here at 4-H camp or 4-H in general. It's all good. I've never had a bad experience, which is hard to say about most things, but I've never had a bad experience in 4-H at all. If someone wanted to join 4-H, I would tell them to do it, obviously. I would 
just let them know that we get to play games, we get to learn cool new things, we do projects, and so you can do a project anywhere from cooking to cows to tree identification. So there's all of these really cool, I mean, I learned how to write a check through 4-H, which is something some people yes. don't know how to do still. Um, but it's, just, it's got, I think I've said this before, but so many opportunities, you know? <laughs> you, there's just so much you can do. You can go anywhere, do anything. You can go to Denmark and do 4-H there, and it's so cool, so. <laughs> Give that. Rubbing elbows. <laughs> Good next turn. <laughs>